What's up, everybody? Mr. Dan here. Just a quick post-election uh, day unwinding video. On the way home from work, I said, you know what? Let me stop by my secret location and crack open that Blues Brothers limited edition 164th scale 1974 Dodge Monaco Blues Mobile that I just picked up at Toys R Us. Could not resist this one. Cannot afford a lot of the green light, the M2s, even the... Uh, the Maze Does. Got some. Been meaning to show them off for a while now. Just cracked open a couple of them, as a matter of fact. But, you know, I love watching uh, WTFFOR and, uh, you know, Ray's Grooves when he gets the other brands and, you know, we'll get the whole series. Um, you know, I'm not able to do that. But but I haven't seen anyone review this uh, Blues Brothers uh, set yet. Um, so let's get to it. And just for some context, I just opened up this... Uh, Hitch and Toe uh, Series 2 um, Ford Bronco and trailer, which is pretty nice. Opening hood, rubber tires, very good quality, some kind of quality you expect from green light. Pretty st sturdy hitch. You, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't bend it. I didn't bend it. It kind of, it's like a separate piece. Whoa, okay, well. Don't try that at home. It kind of only moves that way. That's a little scary. But I guess it is a separate little plastic piece. Just don't mess with it. How's that? Don't mess with it. Okay, it's got <laughs> it's got a stabilizer jack here. Got this little little instruction sheet on how to use it. First thing you do, now these are adult collectibles, guys, all right? First thing you do when you get a green light, and they don't always have these arranged the same way in the package. Um, find all the parts. See where they're taped. Don't throw this away. You're probably not going to throw the ramps away if they've just got ramps, but you know, don't throw all the little bits away. Okay, you gotta actually this that's right on the outside here. Let's grab that other stabilizer jack right there. Put that aside. Okay, so now I got that. But uh, yeah, you gotta open these carefully and uh, don't throw anything away. Let's get to it. Here's the, uh, now I guess the original film didn't have a 2015 Ram 1500, did it? I didn't see the remake. What was it, Blues Brothers 2000? I just kind of missed the boat on that. I know the sequel. My cousin was telling me the sequel destroyed one additional car, whereas the original destroyed, I think, 100 cars to get in the Guinness Book of World Records. The sequel destroyed an additional car, but... Don't know much about it. Let's take a look. Love the weathered look of everything. The Dodge Ram. It's got eight. Oh, oh, it's got some, oh boy. Okay, yeah, it rolls. Okay, good. I love tires that roll, even on the premium brands. I've already identified a tire problem on the police car, which I'll show you in a second. But I love the weathered look, even on the tires, which would make sense, right? You know, if they got dirt all over the place, they wouldn't... wouldn't you know, the dirt's coming from the tires. They're kicking up dirt. So the, the tires have got a dirt too. You can barely read this Goodyear logo right there. I believe that says Goodyear. Let's see. Now, well, see, once again, I've got my contacts and I can't see as well close up, but I imagine it does. It's supposed to, but it's pretty, uh, it's pretty hard to see. And by the way, speaking of hard to see, you know, I kind of told myself I wouldn't make another video until I got my lighting situation straightened out down here, but it's still not too great. So, you know, like I said, this is kind of just an unwinding video. I haven't posted one in a while. My Halloween video never posted. I'm kind of laughed about that. Maybe I'll get it up before next Halloween. Not sure if this is opening. I'm thinking it is. But, uh... Can't quite get it open. Anyway, that looks like a monster, doesn't it? Interesting thing about scale. Well, let's let's just take a look at the whole set first. Let's put the trailer on. Okay. So we got the, now we got the truck, the trailer. Nice wheels on the trailer. We got the two ramps. I guess they click in. Yep. There we go. It's got one. I don't know what that is. A piece of metal came from somewhere. Snap the other one in. Okay. Well, 
I just committed a crime against nature. My suds. And I mean my actual suds. Fell on the floor. Alright, we'll clean that up. We'll wrap this up and I'll have to get a paper towel and clean that up. Just enjoying some suds after I had a nice spellbound ale just to supply you guys with a little local flavor to the channel. Brewed right here in New Jersey. Anyway. Yes, this is a kid's channel, but you know, sometimes you gotta unwind. Like I said, yesterday was election day. Ah, it's all over now. But anyway, I've got diecast cars to look at. I've got my Hot Wheels Club this weekend. So, uh, gotta pick out my muscle cars to race. That's, that's another subject, though. Let's, take, let's get back to this. I wonder if I'm gonna post this. Um, yeah, I probably will. You gotta laugh at yourself sometimes, right? Anyway. Boy, the ramps look, did I do that right? They're so wide. Okay, I guess it works, I guess it works. Here comes the, let's hook that back up. Here comes the car. Yeah, it's kind of like right on the edge. Uh, okay, yeah, it's pretty cool. But, you know, it's the Blues Brothers uh, cop car. It's got the giant megaphone on top. It's great, this one I know we can get the hood open. There you go. Got the hood open on that. Let's take a look at the engine. See, now the lighting's even worse. I had this lamp, so it wasn't horrendous before. Now it is. Ah, oh, boy. I'll look back at this and laugh. But uh, just just awesome. Awesome job from Greenlight. Oh, yeah, the uh, tire. Let's see. I think this is the other side. I love tires that roll. A lot of my M2s, I mean, I keep... I don't want to say I keep getting the M2s, but... I've been getting M2s over green light, and I've been a little disappointed with some of the flat spots on some of the tires. I think it's, which one is it? I put it on the other way. Here it is. It's actually this tire here. It's just got some extra rubber in it. It's not flashing. It's just extra rubber. I may be able to just cut that away with uh, an X-Acto knife, but it doesn't really roll perfectly. But other than that, it probably would roll pretty well. Truck rolls pretty well. Trailer rolls pretty well. Let's take a look at this hitch and toe. Got the Bronco and the, the uh, what do they call it? Small cargo trailer. Skinny wheels. Pretty plasticky. Cargo trailer. Opening hood. Um, looks like metal on metal. It's got a 849 sticker on the bottom. So I guess it's, I'm not sure it's what that's out of, but uh, it does say limited edition. There we go, got that on. So that rolls pretty well. Got things that roll. And uh, just for fun, let's get that. I'll put that in the back. Actually, let's mix these up, see how that works. See how compatible they are. Yeah, see, that'll work. And that'll work. But if we introduce another brand, let's get this. Um, we got a Mesto, what they call Toe and Go. And, you know, they got these elite transporters. I like those, but there's just something about hooking up a, a trailer and a hitch, and it's just fun. So we got these toe and goes, which is kind of like their version of hitch and goes. Hitch and toes. It's one sixty-fourth scale. Um, it's a 1941 Willie's Porky's Mobile Barbecue with the barbecue. It's a pretty substantial... Uh, Oh, it's not really like a trailer hitch now. It's not like my ball style hitch. As far as, uh, you know, as far as lending itself to a, a die cast car, it's probably more stable. And let's get over here in the light. What light we have. Probably lends itself more to a die cast car, though. I mean, it's not coming off. It's not as flimsy. Pretty sturdy. But uh, this would not be interchangeable with. Maybe it would. This one, of course, the Bronco has the tire in the way. Yeah, I guess that would work. But, uh... Definitely pretty cool. As far as scale goes, man, that 41 Willys, I wish I had a Hot Wheels 41 Willys to compare to. It just looks beefier. A lot of the Maisto stuff, there's another one, just looks kind of beefier, just like the green light truck looks just a little more, a little bigger. And I know it's not the same exact truck, but here's a Hot Wheels uh, 15 Ford F-150. Let's see if I can 
see the difference. I mean, I know, like, I'm not a truck guy. Somebody's going to say, well, of course the other one's bigger. Than, they're bigger in uh, real life. But I don't really know. But it just seems like some of the other brands are actually, like, and I think one of them, man, I forget which brand it is. It's actually kind of like an open secret. They're really 160th scale, not 164th. But that's what they seem like they are, you know, like 157th, 160th scale. Not 164th, even though the Maisto actually says that at the bottom. I believe the green light does too. Yes, it does. They both do. But anyway, quick video. Blues Brothers. car brought back fun memories for me haven't seen the review yet sorry about that mishap i gotta go grab a paper towel but uh take it easy guys i'll talk to you soon later